playoffs are here. And this matchup on Wild Card Weekend is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Cowboys and the Bucks, And it comes your way next on Madden NFL 23. Playoff football has come to the West Coast of Florida. And we're at Raymond James Stadium here in Tampa. Straight ahead, it's Wild Card Weekend, and we've got a great one in store between the Dallas Cowboys and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the postseason on EA Sports. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn. And, Charles, that's really all I need to say to get you fired up. It's the postseason on EA Sports. And no one's more fired up than the guys who are going to be playing in this game. This is what they fought for all year long. Go back to the OTAs, the mini camps, training camp, throughout the season to get to the playoffs. The intensity level will be off the charts. Twists and turns will January have in store for us. The NFL playoffs are officially underway. Taken in at the three. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Now we'll see what the right arm of Dak Prescott has in store as the Dallas Cowboys offense sets up shop. Let's face it, it doesn't matter if you're a rookie free agent or a 15-year vet. Guiding a team to victory on the road in the playoffs, that's no small feat. And it's going to be really important for him to play mistake-free football. But equally important, create some big plays as well to give his team confidence that they can win. They start on the ground with Elliott. And some space here. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. That's a start they can live with. 15 yards on their first play from scrimmage. Anytime a team goes on the road, there's always that little bit of fear that maybe they can be affected by the hometown crowd. But this is where game planning really came into play. They talked about it all week. Go in there, establish yourselves. Well, that run right there, that slows down the crowd and gives them a lot of confidence. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Here's Prescott. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. On second down, Elliott. And he'll rumble for about five, up close to the 40. Will need five on this play to move the sticks. Looking to throw, Prescott. Flushed out right. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Logan Hall fighting through and dropping him for the sack. We said it before the game, and I think it's still apparent. If these guys are going to advance in these playoffs, they're going to have to wreak some havoc coming off the edge. Yeah, wild card round. They told us the wild card could be that defensive pressure. They showed it there. kick this one away. Fielded at the 20. 44-yard punt return of nine. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. They'll be led out by Gardner Minshew, six-round selection in 2019 out of Washington State. And he comes into these playoffs bringing a team that's been battle-tested, won the division, and earned the home playoff game here in round one. But every year they know that a division champ, it feels like, gets beat. They don't want to be that team. They have to avoid the overconfidence and make sure they play the same way they played during the regular season, mistake-free and with passion. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. First catch of this wild card game for a 1,000-yard receiver in the regular season. He's got a first down, too. And we see the emphasis early here. Get your star receiver involved, able to do it successfully. Not a bad start to begin with, that's for sure. And to me, this play says, 
our guy is better than your guy's. Uh, because you know, a player of his stature, he won't just be single. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Demarcus Lawrence in there to bury him for a loss of 11. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Now well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Now Minshew. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Finding room at midfield. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. 25 yards there on the catch and run. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Here's Minshew. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. On the ground, this is Leonard Fournette. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. From the gun, Minshew to throw. They're looking for Godwin, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Kelvin Joseph. 20, 10. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. Well, for the offense, it looked like that drive had the makings of something good. They were starting to hit a groove, but the defense clearly had other ideas, not only to force the turnover, but to handle the scoring themselves. Yeah, no panic in their eyes. Was their partner? Think about it this way. The whole thing Coach once told me the best characteristic he liked out of his teams was that they didn't flinch. This group, they got pushed back in an early series, kept their composure, and made a big play that swung the momentum their way. Extra point up and good from Santoso. And it's now a 7-0 game. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Taken at the goal line. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. And they come in as the three seed in this, very likely the last home game of the season for them, even if they win this ball game. But while they would have loved that top spot and the bye that goes with it, they're still in a pretty good position. Well, they certainly are. Let's face it. Every team knows if they want to get to the Super Bowl, they're going to have to earn it. And even if you get the number one seed, you know you have to win two games against teams. They're going to be riding high after big playoff wins coming at you. His first catch of his wild card game, it's good for a first down. And not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw it, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. Throwing on first down is Minshew. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to take possession of the football. The partner, I think this is where long-term starters in the NFL separate themselves from the rest of the pack because there's still three full quarters left in this one. More than enough time to move past a pair of early mistakes and find a way to lead your team to a win. Mental resiliency, a characteristic every NFL team's looking for in their quarterback. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. And they'll have good field position here following the interception and a chance to build on their lead as they start with a first and ten. A first down carry by Elliott. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Prescott to throw it. And he'll go underneath here to Elliott. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. 
Prescott on third and two. And he finds his target. It's Schultz. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they get five there on third and two. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. First down, Prescott. Now he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Carlton Davis picks it, and the Bucs are going to take possession here at their own 16-yard line. And as we've seen, points have been precious so far, and they just threw something away on that snap. And look, let's face it, as we advance further into this game, that play will be on the minds of everyone who's watching it. They wonder if this is the turning point. Is this the spot where those points were given away? It could cost them a ball game. Now the Buccaneers offensive unit back out on the field. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. They'll swing this out to Fournette. And not much happening there. He's taken down, but a late penalty Put flag in the backfield. Oh, this looks like a roughing call. So roughing the passer penalty, never one that you like to see. Not at all, and especially when you're in that final push of the season. You can't afford to get your quarterback hurt before the playoffs roll around. And we know they'll be here before you know it. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Again, it's Fournette. It's a pretty strong running there as he'll take this across the 50 and down to the 44. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now in Tampa Bay. It's the Buccaneers in control of the football as they've got it with a first and 10. Out of the gun is Minshew. And this one caught downfield by Evans. Down inside the 10. And he's going to be out of bounds all the way down at the two. So close. A big play that time for Tampa Bay. 42 yards. And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this home crowd. They haven't given them much to cheer for so far. And never underestimate the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. Fournette is not going anywhere. He'll be hit and dropped for no gain at the two-yard line. Holding offense. A terrible spot for a holding call as he'll try again, but now from further back on first and goal. Looking to throw it, Minshew. Escaping the pressure right. And Evans calls it in. Touchdown, Bucks. Mike Evans. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Bucks are an extra point away from drawing level. And he just did get those feet in there on the side of the end zone. Well done. Probably the exact size foot necessary because I think if he had another half size, that, that catch doesn't count. And he's able to get it in, and it counts for a touchdown. Now comes the kicking team here for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. Just a four-play drive that time, and it's Mike Evans who caps it with a touchdown reception. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. And now it looks like he's in some discomfort after being tackled at the end of that return. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. 
About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They had the interception last drive, led to the tying touchdown. So 7-7 to score as they begin first and 10. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. They go to Elliott again. They give him about four on the play, but he's marked short, so it'll be third and about the length of the football. To throw is Prescott. He finds his man complete. It's Schultz. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. His second catch of this wild card game, and it goes for a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. A first down throw for Prescott. Able to hit his target, Lamb. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 47. Now Prescott. And he'll go right back to Lamb. And yeah, they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against him a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Again, it's Prescott. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. He'll find Lamb, that's complete. And they're going to move it down the inside of the 25. On third down, it's Prescott. Now that's Elliott, complete. And he had to get this down to the 15. He won't make it. He's a yard or two short. A gain of eight there on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. A short gain that doesn't get him the first down. Frank's up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. And Ryan Santoso on now to try the field goal. A 33-yarder from the left hash. Up and good for Santoso. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one-possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. A time to get another look at this Buccaneer offense. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated grooves. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way, and really we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. On second down, here's Fournette. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Minshew sets to throw. And this one's incomplete. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. They'll look to throw. 
It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and 10. Two minutes to play here in this first half of the NFL playoffs. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Steps away to his left. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. That'll be a 43-yard punt, just a single yard on the return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Dallas offense set for this next drive. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> not one that I've ever met. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Prescott looks to throw on first. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Prescott yet again. He finds his man complete. It's Lamb. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. Prescott now. Another one to CeeDee Lamb. He's got it. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Prescott. On the left side, Gallup's got it. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. Up and good for Santoso. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. This one taken just inside the 10, and a decent return out to the 27-yard line. And a white flag coming out as they line up to kneel on it. He'll take the knee in the final couple seconds. will tick by in this first half. So we come upon halftime here in this NFC wild card matchup. As we toss it an hour or so east of here to Orlando, it's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA with that, let's take a look at the next gen stats in that first half for the Cowboys. And even though they've got a halftime lead, they're likely devising ways as we speak to try and get a little more production from their passing game. Meanwhile, for the Bucks, they too didn't throw the ball as well as they would have liked. And I think both teams would say there's room for improvement in the second half. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Taken at about the one. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Out come the Buccaneers. They'll have it first to start the third quarter. 
And Charles, that had to be an interesting locker room at halftime. This is a team that's had so much success this year. Haven't really had to deal with a lot of adversity at halftime, to be honest. But now here they are with their playoff lives on the line. And I think when you're alluding to that interesting locker room, you're just wondering, how are they handling that bit of adversity that they're seeing right now? Because I think this is a team that has to look to lean on the veterans at this point. We know we're better than this. We've proved it all season. Let them disseminate that confidence through the locker room. But this opening drive, it'll be an important one for them to give them a little jolt of confidence moving forward. They'll try to throw for it with Minshew. He completes it to Evans. And he is going to have a Bucs first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. I like the fact that they didn't overcomplicate things on that call. Third and two, just run the quick little hitch, which they did. Ball's out of quarterback's hands. And yes, indeed, they pick up the first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Off play action, it's Minshew. There's Evans again, complete. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Minshew with a give to Fournette. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. 50 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. That one definitely helps as they try to push the ball down the field here, trailing early in the third quarter. And even though they're trailing, not abandoning the running game. People may call it an adjustment. I think it's just much more sticking to what works for you and continuing to have faith in it. And the running game is starting to pay off. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 right at the 40. Minshew's throw taken in by Evans here. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. To throw again on second down. Minshew looking Mike Evans' way again, and he's got another one. And he'll be brought down at the 27. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. They go back to the ground now with Fournette. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. They'll run it again with Fournette. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Here's Minshew. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. Demarcus Lawrence able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. And that's his second sack in this one. And you just can't ask a defensive end or an edge rusher to play any better than what we're seeing right now. And, partner, it's still just the third quarter. I'm thinking he's not done yet. Even if he's not getting the sack, he's bringing a lot of pressure to the pocket. And now the Tampa Bay field goal unit comes out here. This will be from 49 yards out. And his kick is right there. It's good. And that will cut the lead back down to three at 13 to 10. So they were facing the deficit coming out of the locker room at intermission, and at least they're able to get the field goal to cut into that deficit. Yeah, now your offense feels pretty good about itself, right? A little bit more up to speed coming out of the break. You turn to your defense now and say, hey, we got three there. We're chipping into the lead. Can you help us out? Hold them. Let's get the ball back for us. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Open man right side, it's Lamb. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Offense. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Inside give to Elliott. And he'll take this one up over the 20 to the 21-yard line. Throwing on second and 14. Prescott. 
He'll get this out wide here to Elliott. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Prescott from the gun. And the throw there going to be incomplete. And that's a really good job there. That's a good they went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. 37 yards on the punt with no return, and they will take over first and 10. So out come the Bucks now. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that were happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. They'll try and run for it with Fournette. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 70 yards for him on the ground now, as he has been terrific here this afternoon. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower center of gravity and turn his legs for a really nice pickup. One quarter remains in this NFC wild card matchup. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Tampa. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. They'll go play action here with Minshew. And yeah, this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Looking downfield for Godwin. And in for the Buccaneers touchdown. Chris Godwin, 38 yards. And the Buccaneers have taken a fourth quarter lead. Well, you know he can be explosive, and he's ultra-explosive there on the fly route. And you know how many times we've talked to coaches and we've had quoted back to us, well, you know something? When you execute really well, it doesn't matter if they know it's coming or not. But sometimes athleticism beats you as well. He just took off and went. That's almost like one of your turkey bowl games, isn't it? Just go long, <laughs> man. Yard. I'll hit you. And it worked really well for them. Point after, right down the middle. And that will make this a four-point game. A drive that time of six plays. And it's Chris Godwin who finishes things off with a touchdown reception. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Fields it right around the goal line. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. And out now come the Cowboys. Right now, Charles, this is the drive of the season. You're on the road here in the playoffs. It's put up or shut up. They need points. This is where you have to come together as a team, as you just noted, on the road. So that means they've carried that mentality with them throughout. Hey, we've got to go on the road. We've got to rely on ourselves, right? Focus, yet still find the fun in it. How great is this, guys? Look at the spot we're in right now. And then go to your top players, call the plays that they run best. Yeah, sort of controlling their own destiny, but this place has been loud. Not going to be easy. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Throwing, Prescott. A dump off to Elliott. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Same exact result as last play, a pickup of 11. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed too. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. 
Up the middle, here's Elliott. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Here's Prescott. Going up top. And this is incomplete. Oh, he had six points right in his hands, but could not hang on. To throw again on second down. Prescott eluding the pressure right. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. To throw is Prescott. Keeps himself up, but in the end, the pressure too great, and he goes down. A loss of three on a sack made by multiple defenders. Got to give him points for the attempt, but there's just a wave of pressure there. A host of people in the area. Evades a few, but couldn't evade all of them. So the field goal unit is on the field, as this is a big spot right here. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot. And that will keep this a four-point game. But just kicking a field goal there, that's a decision that could be open to second-guessing. You know, you're trying to get back within a field goal, but it didn't work out as planned. And now you're banking on your defense to be motivated enough to get out there and get the ball back for you. I think if that ball goes through the post, the defense is naturally motivated, even elevated in their mission. Now they've got to find a way to dig down deep and get it done. The Buccaneers in good field position here to start out. First and 10 at the 45. From the gun, Minshew to throw. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. On the draw, this is Fournette. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. And now we're going to get a stoppage. A member of the Cowboys shaken up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. And this offense on third down today, they've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and 14. Looking to throw it, Minshew. A pass underneath for Fournette. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion, and you count on your D to make it stand up. Here comes the Buccaneers punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Cowboys will be backed up to start the drive. They'll have it first and 10. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. If they want to advance in this divisional round, look, obviously the time is now. Trailing here in the fourth as they go to work on a crucial, crucial drive, first and 10. And how he got away from that first tackler, no idea, but he did, and it winds up with positive yardage. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now Prescott. He's going to find Gallup here complete. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Prescott to throw it. And he finds his target. It's Schultz. Looking to throw again on second down. Prescott. That's into the hands of Gallup over the middle. 
A Cowboy first down there. Prescott to Gallo. Eight yards to go. First down, Cowboy. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. A quick throw there, going to be batted away and incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Now Dak. That's caught by Tolbert, and he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the four. Play number seven now coming up on the drive, third and five. Now Prescott. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. Desperation time, Prescott on fourth. Able to find Gallup, and he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays that have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Clock rolling here under 90 seconds to go. He's got Elliott. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Here's Prescott. And he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks 42. Meanwhile, Dax throw there caught by Gallup. And he's going to be down at the 35. Gain of seven. Prescott. He'll find Lamb crossing the formation for the catch. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks 22-yard line. Now we're going to get a timeout. Appears we've got an injured Buccaneer. So the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Here's Dak. Flush to his right. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. To throw Prescott. Oh, no, he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. The pocket collapsed around him. I know we talk about it a lot, but a QB has to have that sixth sense, doesn't it? He really does, and I know of one team at one point was training their quarterback with that time frame, and any time he didn't get rid of the ball within the, the right amount of time, they would blow a horn or blow a whistle to show him this is what that time is, just what you're talking about, training him to understand this is the amount you have, make sure the ball's gone. Didn't happen in this case. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. And they take a knee. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. I spy a couple of extra defensive backs on the field for Dallas. Cowboys in the dime on third. They go down to a knee, and that will do it. They are moving on here in the playoffs. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. The Buccaneers are moving on in these playoffs. So here's say thanks for watching, and so on.